What's going on YouTube? You just can't get enough of me. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing safety wire like I did in the last video. If you haven't seen that one, I show some tips and tricks. I've also got an older video on this. I've done a couple. Um, they, they perform really well and people always ask questions. So in this video, I'm doing it by hand. This is how to safety wire by hand. I'm gonna use the cross method in these two bolts here. And then I'm also gonna do a single uh, single wire method here for these smaller bolts. This is something like you might see on like a fuel pump or like a fuel filter. Uh, where there's not really a lot of torque on these, but you don't want them coming loose. So stick around. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna use this bolt and this bolt. The holes are already somewhat square, so that makes it easy. I'm going to be doing this by hand this time, unlike with the pliers like I did on this side of my last video, linked at the end of this video. And I do wanna mention, I am, I am wearing my safety glasses. Somebody mentioned that in the last video. I'm not wearing them in my pieces to camera, but I'm wearing them while I'm doing this because I'm using these, which turn stainless steel into projectiles. I'm gonna be using 032 safety wire, and I'm gonna be using the cross method. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this in there best I can. I'm gonna try to set it up on the tripod, and then I'm gonna film how I'm gonna use the cross method. So I'm actually gonna go through the bolt, around and then back through the bolt again through the center since it has holes on all sides and not just a hole on one side. You see how this side is, is just coming around one time. Okay, I've got you set up on the tripod. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make this work, but what I'm gonna do is I've got quite a lot of extra wire because I'm doing it by hand this time and not with the pliers. So first I'm gonna go through the bolt like this. I'm gonna go about halfway with my wire and then I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna take this in and I'm gonna come right back through, whoops, wrong hole, this way, okay? if I can get hold of it, there we go. It doesn't really matter if it goes under the top or over the bottom of that other wire, just so long as it goes through the head of the bolt, okay? So let's see, it might help if I grab it with my duckbills and push it through with my duckbills. Let's see here, there we go. Okay, got it pushed through for the most part. I'm gonna grab these on the other side and now I'll pull this down, making sure that I have an equal amount of wire on both sides. I'm gonna start pulling this down nice and tight, okay? Now, you can do this. It, it's not really gonna hurt if you sort of, you know, pinch it a little bit with the uh, duck bills. You can sort of mold it to this corner, but there's nothing that says you have to do that. So now, coming from here, I'm gonna go straight to this side of the bolt. Now, I, I would like it to be in a little bit more of a tightening position, but you wanna make sure that you're in the tightening position. So I'm gonna hold the wire like this, and after I'm done tightening it, when I pull the wire down to the next bolt, I should be pulling that in the tightening direction. So I'm gonna move the tripod for a second, and I'm gonna show you how you need to wire this. Now, I'll try to get a close up here in a second, but you wanna come around, okay? And the bolt that's coming around in the tightening direction you want underneath the bolt that's coming out of the center hole. So then you're gonna pull these together and you're gonna start twisting. Now you wanna start twisting as close to 90 degrees as you can. Now, a couple of tips for that. The further apart I hold my hands, let's see if I can show my hands. The further apart I hold my hands, the tighter the wraps will be, the closer together, the closer the wraps. So I'm just gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna hold my hands real far apart initially and start wrapping. Like I said, real far apart. And now I'm gonna bring my hands together and I'm gonna start wrapping them real close and you'll see the difference here in a second. And it's gonna look like garbage because I'm trying to prove a point. If you look down here at the base, I'll see if I can get the camera to focus. This is somewhat tight and neat and pretty. And then right here where I got my hands too close together, it starts to get really loose. So you don't want that because you actually want six to eight wraps per inch according to the AC4313, and I'll put that photo up here. If I put my knuckles here, that's about an inch. That's one, two, three. That's nowhere near enough. But if I put it down here, closer to where my hands were closer together, it's one, two, three, four, five, and then it would have been six, seven, eight, nine. So with six to eight wraps per inch, it's a little bit too too broad. So you don't want your hands real far apart, but you, don't also, you also don't want them too far away from one another. So I'm gonna finish wrapping this over to this other bolt, and I'll show you the next okay. step. I've got this sort of all wrapped down. I've pulled it over here just to make sure that it's not too long and I've pulled it back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it back up and I'm gonna clean up this last little wrap a little bit and I'm gonna grab it with the duck bills. Now what you wanna do 
when you grab it with your duck bills is you want to pull on it and you want to pull it over to the other wire and just like before that's going to tighten this wire here so that it's nice and snug now the wire on the top you want to go in first with so let me move the tripod again and we'll show the other side now this whole thing is about one wrap too long if i pulled this through this bolt this wire would be really loose right here and i want it nice and and taut nice and snug so i'm going to take one wrap of wire out the 4313 tells me i can do that and like i said i'll try to put up a uh, the, the pages and the figures and tell you exactly where this is. And then I'm gonna take the piece of wire that's coming from the top and I'm gonna go into the bolt, okay? And then I'll take my duckbill pliers, if you grab it and you just sort of pull it into the bolt with your pliers. You don't wanna go clamp, clamping down like these on crazy or cramp, clamping down on these like crazy, but there you go, that is started. Now what I say is the bolt that's coming over the top, I mean this wire right here is finishing at the top of the twist. That's the wire you want going through the bolt. Now I'll take the other one and I'll go through the next castellation like this because I said, like I said, we're using the cross method. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can reach over here and mold this just a little bit to the head of the bolt so that it looks prettier. Pull on it a little bit more. There we go. Now, the pigtail needs to go the opposite way, so I'm gonna take this one and wrap under this one and then begin wrapping up my pigtail. Whoops, sorry, I bumped the camera. And just like I did in the last video with the safety wire pliers, I'm going to cut this here in just a second. I'll show you what you need to do. So I'm going to take the duck bills. I'm just going to twist it down. I'm going to give it a little extra wrap there at the bottom so that it's nice and snug. And now I'll show you the next thing we need. Now I'm going to cut the pigtail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my diagonal cutters and I'm going to hold them backwards like this where the, where the blade is facing away. That will help prevent this from shooting off. But I'm going to go up about a finger's width or so, right? I'm going to grab that, go ahead and hang on to this, you can't see it, it's off camera, and I'm going to cut it, that way it doesn't fly across the hanger. So I held that in my hand. And now you're going to take your duckbill pliers, and just like I did with the safety wire pliers in the last video, go about halfway down the pigtail, and begin to lift it and twist it under itself. Let me give you a better angle on this. If I come over here, you can see it's making a little peak, right? Now. If I get my duckbill pliers right, I can close that up and then I can wrap it underneath itself. So now what the pigtail is doing is actually coming out, looping around and coming back down. And that sharp point is up underneath there so you can't cut your hand on that. So let's look at this all a little bit closer. Now this is not pretty, the point is to show you what happens. Right here is where I had my hands real close and I, I know the camera's struggling to focus and I apologize I use a GoPro but right here is where I had my hands real far apart and there's a few too many wraps per inch right in here is where I had my hands further apart or sorry closer together and there's not quite enough wraps per inch and then right here is where I kind of tightened it up at the end so the trick here when you're doing it by hand now practice makes perfect practice 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 but remember the further apart your hands are the further apart the wire is the tighter it's going to wrap, the closer your hands are together, the looser it's going to wrap. You don't want your hands real close to each other. You don't want your hands out at 90 degrees. I like to make about a, a triangle like this. I don't, I don't know how many degrees it would be, but about a triangle like this with my hands as I wrap the wire and keep it consistent every time you wrap it. This is me letting go of it and then grabbing and doing it again. Keep the same motion every time. Don't be doing all kinds of crazy things with your hand. Just try to keep that nice angle and keep everything nice and snug. Make sure you're pulling on the wire with some tension when you're doing this. Make sure you're not just letting it hang there nice and loose. It helps if you clamp the trainer down. If you're working on an airplane, obviously the airplane is clamped down. So the last thing I wanna show you real quick before we go is the single wire method. Sometimes when you are doing these smaller little bolts like this, 
you will use the single wire method and you're actually going to start where you're going to end obviously because you would be going all the way around for the sake of this demonstration i'm not going to so i'm going to pull my wire through all the way until about the end where i want my pigtail to start and i'm going to kind of push that up so that it's out of my way so now i want to be in this the tightening direction to the next bolt which would be there so pull it around i'll push it through here just like i did before grab it with my safety wire or my sorry grab it with my duckbill pliers and start pulling it through so now if you want to tighten this up i've found a secret what you want to do is grab it with the pliers like this and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay you you grab it with the pliers like this and then you've already got this little kink in here now you don't want to go crazy because you're going to break it but what you kind of want to do is you want to you want to have like a casual conversation you want to ignore it so that it doesn't know what's happening and then you sort of sneak up on it real quick and if you sneak up on it like that and just give it a little tug you don't have to go crazy just give it a little tug that'll tighten it so i'll do the rest of these in the same way always make sure you're going in the tightening direction it should look like a backwards s and then i'll show you how to do the pigtail okay i've got these all together like i said backwards s for every single one of them pull it through i grab the wire on the very very end with my duck bills and just give it a little uh, just a little tug you don't want to go too much because you will snap this wire but now i've got this last little run and i need to put a pigtail in here somewhere and being that it's a single wrap what am I going to pigtail it to? So I'm actually going to go over here to this other screw. And I'm going to kind of pull it nice and snug here. And then I'm going to start my wrap sort of this direction so that it's staying tight. And it doesn't want to really hold. So what I might do is I might just grab it with the duck bills like this. Okay. And I'm going to start twisting the pigtail around. Okay. You can do this with safety wire pliers too, but it, it doesn't really matter. So I'm starting to get that pigtail lined up, and that ensures that this wire is tight just like all the others. Um, it's really hard to do this by hand if you're just holding it apart. If you use the duck bills and you sort of pinch it, that will certainly help. So now off camera, or maybe on camera, I don't know here. Let's do this. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing I did with this one. I will move the safety wire over where it's 90 degrees i will twist it a couple of times give it a nice little kelly twist there as we call it cut it with the diagonal cutters and then fold it underneath itself okay and again cannot cut your hand on that one so there's single wrap and then there is using the cross method both of these were done by hand didn't even need the safety wire pliers. So there you go, everybody. That's going to do it for this video, which is doing safety wire by hand. I realized this one did not look pretty, but the point was not to look pretty. The point was to show you what's going to happen with your hand placement if your hands are too far apart or if your hands are too close together. So if you're going to comment that my safety wire looks like garbage, I, I know I did that on purpose to show you what will happen if your hand placement isn't right. And it, honestly, it just takes practice. I can show you a dozen times but it takes you practicing on it as much as you can to really get good at it until you learn about these bad boys right here. And once you use safety wire pliers, you'll never go back. Every aircraft mechanic in the world uses safety wire pliers because it's fast, it's clean, it's simple, it's even, it solves all the problems of doing it by hand with one tool. But some of your schools, depending on where you go, they will not let you use safety wire pliers until you've done it by hand a couple of times because there are situations on the aircraft where there's no way to get these in there and you're going to have to do it by hand. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And as always, go build something. It'd be easy.